So this is question one from paper two of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Higher Maths exam. We're given the coordinates of three points, vertices of a triangle ABC. We're told the broken lines, the altitude from C, and we're asked to show that the equation of that altitude is given by x minus 3y equals 4. So let's have a working diagram here and let's transfer uh, information onto this diagram so that A is the point negative 5, 7. We know that C is the point 13, 3. And we know that B is the point negative 1, negative 5. And we're told to work out, the, or we're asked to work out the equation of this Altitude. Now, altitudes through a vertex of a triangle are perpendicular to the opposite side. So this is perpendicular to side AB, and we'll suppose it crosses AB, say, at the point N. So this is part A, then. So what do we know? We know that we're trying to find the equation of a straight line. The basic information we need is the gradient of the straight line and a point that's on that straight line. If we know these two facts, then the equation of the straight line is given by y minus b equals m times x minus a. We'll also need to know the equation of a line passing through two given points. Suppose it passes through p and q, x1, y1, x2, y2 then the gradient of the line joining these two points or passing through these two points is given by the y difference, y2 minus y1, difference of the y coordinates over the x difference, x2 minus x1. We also need to know that if we know the gradient of a straight line, then the gradient of a line perpendicular to that would invert that fraction and change the sign. This is basically because if we multiply these two perpendicular gradients, a over b times negative b over a, we'd end up with negative 1. So these are the facts that we're going to be using. So do we know a point on this altitude cn? Yes, we do. We know that c lies on it. Do we know its gradient? No, we don't. But we know that this altitude is perpendicular to side AB. So let's first of all work out the gradient of side AB. So here are the coordinates of the two points A and B. So that using this result here, the y difference over x difference, we can work out the gradient of the side AB. So the y difference, 7 minus negative 5. x difference, negative 5 minus negative 1. Note I started with point A in both cases. You always use one of the points to start. Don't change the order as you do this. So the top line be 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. Bottom line, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. That's negative 3. And reality check, gradient of negative 3, if you're going along 1, you go down 3. So that ties in nicely with this steepness on the diagram. So therefore the gradient of a line perpendicular to that would be, I think of it as 3 over 1, it would be 1 over 3 with the sign change, so negative becomes positive. And a gradient of 1 third, again a reality check, along one, up a third. So that ties in with this diagram. So we've found out that the gradient of the altitude is equal to a third. And we do know a point on that altitude. It's the point C, which is 13, 3. So because of this y minus b equals mx minus a formula, we now know that the equation of the altitude is given by 
y minus 3 equals gradient a third x minus 13. So let's get rid of this third. Let's multiply both sides by 3. So 3 lots of y minus 3 would be 3y minus 9. And 3 lots of a third is 1. So 1x minus 3, 13. Third, 3 times a third becomes a 1. So there we go. And remember the form in the question had x. Let's, let's take a, the, the y term to the right hand side, we subtract 3y from both sides and let's add 13 to both sides, 13 plus uh, negative 9 plus 13 is 4 and let's write it the other way around x minus 3y will be equal to 4, which is what we were asked to show the equation was so let's write this down, x on the diagram, x minus 3y equals 4. Part B now. Find the equation of the median from B. Now the median is a line from a vertex to the midpoint, let's call it M, of the opposite side. So in this case, there's median. So to find this out, we would need to work out what the midpoint is. And there's a midpoint result. If we have PQ being x1, y1, x2, y2, then M, the midpoint of the line joining P to Q, would be the mean of the x coordinates, x plus x1 plus x2 over 2, and the mean of the y coordinates. So that's the midpoint result. And we'll also need the result that we had previously gradient, gradient and point on line an equation of line y minus b equals m x minus a. So let's do that. The m midpoint would be negative 5 plus 13 over 2. That's the mean of the two x coordinates. 7 plus 3 over 2. That's the mean of the two y coordinates. Negative 5 plus 13 is 8. 8 over 2 is 4. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 over 2 is 5. So that point M is 4, 5. So do we know the gradient of that line? No, we don't. But let's work that out. So the gradient of B to M will be the Y difference, 5 minus negative 5, over the X difference, 4 minus negative 1. So that's 5 plus 5 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, that's 2. Now a gradient of 2, 1 along, 2 up. That looks pretty good. That's your reality check. So the gradient is that. So let's put down the gradient of median is 2. Do we know a point on that median? Yes, we do. 4, 5. Point on median is 4, 5. So we're in a position to say that the equation of the median is y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus 4. That's your y minus b equals mx minus a. So let's simplify, let's multiply out the second bracket. 2x minus 8 
So we end up with y minus or y equals 2x. Let's add 5 to both sides and we get y equals 2x minus 3. So let's add that to our diagram. So there's y equals 2x minus 3. So final part of this question, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the altitude, that's the green line, and the median from B, that's the red line. So we're after this point here. So what we're going to do now is, since we know both of these equations, we're going to solve them simultaneously to find the one point, the coordinates of the one point that satisfies both these equations. So we have this set up. We're going to solve y equals 2x minus 3 and x minus 3y equals 4. Now, since the first one tells you y in terms of x, we'll use the second equation and substitute 2x minus 3 for y. That therefore gives us an equation in x. And let's multiply out negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x, and negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. x minus 6x is negative 5x. Let's take 9 from both sides. And let's divide by negative 5, both sides. So we get x equals 1. So we put x equals 1 finally in the first equation, y equals 2x minus 3. And we get y equals twice 1 minus 3, 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. So we've finally got point of intersection is x-coordinate 1, y-coordinate negative 1. Look at the diagram. Does it make sense? 1, negative 1. Well, it's not unreasonable. 1 along, 1 down there. You could, if you like, check these values in this second equation because we remember we used the first equation y equals 2x minus 3 to work that out. So if we put x equals 1, we get 1 minus 3 lots of negative 1. That's negative 3. So 1 minus negative 3 is 1 plus 3, which is 4. So that, again, the double check ties up. So 1, negative 1 is the point of intersection.